Hey everyone, welcome back. So I'm back with another favourites video. I literally cannot believe we're in May already. I have got a basket full of all the stuff that I've been using throughout the whole of April. There is some duplicates in here from my previous favourites videos, but that just shows you how much I've been loving them. And you're going to see a lot of new ones as well. It is predominantly beauty and makeup items. I do have one hair care, one skincare and a few lip care in there, but all the rest is all makeup goods. I do these every single month, so if you'd like to see my previous ones, I'll leave my playlist down below. Yeah, other than that, we're just going to go in the video, hit subscribe if you like these sorts of vids, and yeah, without further ado, let's go! If you're wondering what's on my eyes today, I am wearing two of the eyeshadow palettes in my favourites. And I've also gone into this as well, this is the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette. I thought I should bring this up, now we're getting into the warmer months. I literally cannot wait for summer. I've like dressed in shorts today, so I'm trying to take it in as much as I can. I might as well start with the eyeshadow palettes whilst we're on the subject. So these are the Mentos eyeshadow palettes from Rude Cosmetics. Because I change my eyeshadow every single day, I don't stick to the same palette. So with my eyeshadow palettes for my favorites, I like to pick the ones that stood out to me that month, not necessarily picking up the most out of that month. These are the palettes that stood out to me out of April. I'm wearing both of these palettes on my eyes today. So I'm gonna start off with the Neon palette. I've done both review videos on these palettes. Look how vivid, bright, bold this is and just so fun and colorful. These glitters from this palette are my favorite. Like I know it's not everyone's cup of tea having glitters in palette. I absolutely love it. I use this orange on the lid today. Oh, I also use this shimmer as well and this yellow shimmer. So I use three shades out of this neon palette. Then we have the same sort of thing, but a pastel version. This makes me happy, this does. And from this palette, I used this shade on the inner corner and I just love the way it texturizes your eyelids. It just makes your eyelid just look stand out more. And that's why I love glitter and eyeshadow palettes because I really do, if it's a good glitter, I really do think it does something to the eyelid. I'm gonna start to dive into the makeup now. This is the P. Louise, the cheek of it, a flirty flush of color liquid blush. This really stood out to me. It's such a nice pink blush. The only thing I don't like about it is the applicator, but it takes a bit of getting used to, but this is such a really nice sweet pink. The shade is in Malin Mood. Oh, ow. Malin Mood. For instance, Made by Mitchell has a really bright pink in the shade Party Pink. It's not like this. It's really toned down. It blends as well so much easier. I feel like this blends so much easier than the Made by Mitchell. It goes on nice on top of everything laid down and it just seamlessly blends. I know you love that in the blush. I really like these. I can get on with them and I really think they're good for beginner friendly if you're new to blush as well. Yeah, it just blurs out into the skin. I've got more items from Rude Cosmetics. I need to do a massive Rude Cosmetics haul soon because I have been collecting over April. This is definitely a holy grail for me now. I use this non-stop every single day, only because I have run out of my NYX Microbrow Pencil. And I just wanted to try something new because I always go back to that. It's such a staple and I just wanted to try this. This is the Rue Cosmetics Teeny Weeny Micro Brow Pencil, shade taupe. I slightly like this better than the NYX one. I think it's a little bit cheaper, I don't know. The reason why I like it a lot more, the spoolie is a lot more tighter between the ridges, so it, therefore it really grabs onto your brow a lot better. And I just love how t tiny it is, this little, ooh, everything's falling out of my hands today. In comparison to NYX, I, I honestly think it's quite similar, like the width and how tiny it is. I really need to swatch it next to each other, but I don't have a NYX one on me right now because I've used it all up. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this. I have not been missing my NYX one because this has really been good in replacing that for the time being. Another Rude Cosmetics, this is the Manga Highlighter, the Twinkle Twinkle Highlighter. I did get another shade as well, but I'm just going to show you this for the video. This highlighter is stunning. I'm going to wear it now. I'm wearing so much highlighter today. I've got a few highlighters in here as well. It's mentioned like, oh my god. I know I'm already wearing highlighter, but I just love this one. It's wet looking on the skin. It's like a highlighter that looks wet on the skin on the cheekbones, which I do love in a highlighter. This has been in my previous favorites, but I'm gonna mention it again because I do really enjoy using this. This is the Simpsons Revolution Treehouse of Horror Primer Base. It's their slime primer. I really like this. I'll always continue to use it. It's probably one of those products that I probably would repurchase but I do like to try different things. But yeah, it makes your skin really nice and glowy. I do feel like it's a bit hydrating as well. I should have mentioned this whilst I was talking about Rude Cosmetics. I'm gonna mention this lip gloss. 
this lip gloss is stunning. This is in the shade Crystal Eyes. It's a very juicy lip gloss. I've done a TikTok video on this gloss so you can really see it properly in action, but it's got a really nice, oh my God, I've used that much already. It's got a really nice shimmer sparkle in it. You're not gonna see on camera, but on the TikTok video, you can really see the sparkle. You can just about see it there, it's the pink sparkle. But yeah, this just makes your lips super juicy. Let me put it on now. As lip glosses go, this is such a really nice one. Non-sticky as well. It just looks super glossy. It reminds me of like a, a Fenty gloss. Really smooth on the lip. Can't explain it. And the shimmer is so pretty in it. Very juicy. Why am I dropping everything? Very juicy lip gloss shade crystallized. I'm going to mention this liquid highlighter because this has really grown on me. Not going to lie, I did struggle with this product at the start when I was first using it. But then I've experimented with it and find other ways to wear it that I prefer. This is the iHeart Revolution Lemon Spritz Liquid Highlighter. This product works best when working with other cream liquidy products. Like if you're gonna wear powder blush, I don't think this lays on top of a powder blush very well. It does lift, but it works really well with cream blushes. For example, it works nice with this cream liquid blush. It works nice with Die Heart Revolution liquid blushes. Glides on top of those type of formulas so much better than a powder. Um, I didn't like this when I wore powder underneath it because it just really lifted and you could see my skin basically. Well, not my skin, but my foundation was lifted. So glowy, I've got it on today as well as other highlighters. I don't really like it on my nose as much. I prefer it on my cheekbone. I wouldn't say it looks texturing on the skin. I wouldn't say it just blends into the skin really nice with cream products. Moving on to this face palette. I'm gonna mention this. This is the Beauty Bay face palette. It's the bronze blush glow. I've got it in the shade. I think it's in the shade First Lives. I've been really enjoying this. So you get two blushes in here, you get a bronzer and a highlighter. This highlighter is so soft. It feels really creamy into the pan and it's so blinding, like so blinding. If you really want a highlighter that shows, that is the one. I always like to use these blushes in conjunction with each other. I feel like they really complement each other. Going for something bougie now because I have been wearing this a lot, especially to the office. And especially if I want to use this liquid highlighter, I've been using this a lot more. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sunkist Glow Bronzer in the shade Light. I really like this. It smells though, it stinks. I don't like the smell of it, but it glides onto the skin it's so nice. What are I purchase it? I don't know. I would have to try find something in the drugstore. It's very expensive. I don't know why I brought this. I was having a phase and I just wanted to splurge because I actually don't have many high-end stuff. I'd say this is quite a neutral bronzer. Not too warm, not too cool, kind of meets nicely in the middle, which I do prefer. I don't like anything too cool on my face shape. I like to be a bit fuller on my face. Uh, I don't I don't want to contour. I don't want to chisel my face out. I don't like anything too cool on my cheekbone because I don't want anything that's gonna be like, you know what I mean? I kind of want it a bit fuller around there. I do like contour on my nose, but that's about it. Okay, I'm gonna mention two eyeshadow primers. These have been in my previous uh, favorites, but I'm going to mention them again because I just can't stop using them. I have brought a new eye base at the minute. I'll get on to that. This is the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base, and this is the Beauty Bay Eye Base. I do prefer the Beauty Bay over the Ultimate, but I found a replacement now for my Ultimate, and that is the Revolution Super Base. This is a lot thinner consistency compared to the Ultimate, but if I want something bright and vivid, I do tend to go to the Ultimate one over this because this is a bit thinner, and I feel like. If I want something that's more stay put in, I go with the ultimate for the full. These are my favorite eye bases at the minute. There is an eye base I'm gonna mention at the end that really is not it. I hate it with a passion and I can fully say that now because I've tested it out multiple times on my wrist, on my eyes, using the same palettes. I've been testing them out side by side with other eye primers that I love and I can definitely say that's the worst eyeshadow primer I've ever tried. Moving on to more stuff I've been loving. I'm gonna mention these nail polish. What's Up Beauty nail polishes. Love them. I'm wearing this shade today. This is called Agat and stunning. Like my nail polishes chip so easy but this I can go with a week not having to reapply. In fact, I only apply this again within that week just to add more shine to the nails and that is it. Other than that, it doesn't really chip. Like this is the longest 
time I've worn nail polish without chipping. I really like this as well because the eyeshadow palette by this brand, What's Up Beauty, their Geodes eyeshadow palette, the shades from the eyeshadow palette match the shades to their nail polishes out of the collection, which is a really fun touch. I'm also going to mention that other nail polishes in the Peridot, Peridot shade, this greeny blue. It's got gold shimmer inside. I absolutely love this. I cannot wait to start wearing this in the summer. Okay, SPF time. So, I normally use my Neutrogena Hydro Boost SPF in the winter, but now we're getting to the warmer months. I want to wear higher factors. So this is the Carbon Theory SPF 50 Plus. I've been using this a long time. This is my third bottle and I just really like this. It doesn't leave a cast on the face. However, with this, you do need to lay it sink into your skin for about about 20 minutes I would say. That way it's activated onto your skin so you can you know be ready to go outside but also I feel like you need to wait a bit for this to sink into your skin before you go in to do your makeup. I don't know it just acts a bit funny if you go if you put this on then you go straight into your makeup you need to just lay it set a bit. Just use it as like a prep for your skin or something but yeah I really like this. It doesn't pill my makeup. It's a really fluid texture so you do need to be careful with it because it can go a bit everywhere but usually what I tend to do I get my index finger apply all the way from the bottom to the tip of the finger apply all over and then I put another layer on. That way I know I'm using enough on my face but I am getting everywhere on my face. I like this as well because it is UVA and UVB protection. I always make sure when I'm getting SPF it's UVA and UVB protection. Okay this mascara, I don't think I've mentioned this in my favourites but I like this mascara specif specifically when I'm about to put lashes on. I've got lashes on today. These are super natural lashes. Sometimes I can wear these lashes to the office because they're just so natural looking. These are from Shein. I don't know why, but when I'm wearing lashes, this is like my lash mascara prep. I always put mascara on first, like dry, and then put my lashes on. I don't know, it just makes my lashes a bit tackier. This is a revolution at Game of Thrones. I like this, it makes my lashes more lifted, it separates them, it's not, I wouldn't say it's volumising, I say it's good at lengthening, but it just gives me the nice prep before I'm, before I put on my lashes. I don't know if anyone does that, do you put mascara on before you put your lashes on? I don't know, I just feel like my lashes stick better to my natural lashes better if I do put a bit of mascara on, but yeah. This mascara I really do like, I've been wearing it for work as well, um, it's got a nice brush it's not too big it doesn't poke your eye out i feel like it doesn't clump up when you take it out the container i always wipe a bit off at the top though but yeah i just feel like you got a nice coat of mascara and it's not clumpy lip care i've got two w7 lip products here i'm going to mention this this is a dupe of the Laneige lip sleeping mask is it yeah Laneige sleeping mask this is the w7 sweet dreams with vitamin c not vitamin C, vitamin E, I need my glasses. Aloe vera and grape seed oil. So this looks very familiar to the Laneige. I've never tried the Laneige sleeping mask, but I've used so much of this. I could easily repurchase this. This feels so luscious on my lips. Love it. I tend to wear this more in the nighttime when I go to bed, or if I'm not wearing makeup that day, I like to put it on the daytime. But yeah, I've used so much of this. They do have an apple one as well. I think it's an apple. It's in a green container, and I'm gonna pick that one up next once I finish this one up. On the same line of W7, I've got their Thick Drip Lip Oil. I think this is a dupe of the NYX Fat Oil. I think the NYX one might have come out after this release. I can't, I can't remember. But I've actually put this on today before I put on that Rude Cosmetics. It's in the shade Rocket. Out of the lip oils, I always tend to go with the darkest one because as it's a lip oil, it's not going to be too pigmented. But it's going to be pigmented enough so you can see it. I'll just put it on now. The doe foot is really big and cushiony. I love wearing lip oils on days where I don't want to wear makeup, but I want to lay something on my lips so they can get somewhat moisture, but yeah. It's a really nice pigment shade. Okay, hair care. I've used a lot of this. This is the Aussie Free Miracle Oil Reconstructor. I also use their Miracle Treatment Mask, which is so nice. I can't go without washing my hair, without using it. But I should have mentioned that, I may, maybe I'll mention it in my next favourites, but this is that oil. So I try to put this on every single night. I'm not using it this week, however, because I'm having my hair done this weekend and I try not to put too much product before I go for my hair. That way I can prep it and hopefully the colour can 
grab onto my hair a bit better. I'm up to here at the minute. If I wasn't having hair done this week, I'd be wearing this every single night. So typically on a night, I usually run this through my mid to end lengths and I put a bit on my crown. My hair never gets greasy, like, my hair just never gets oily. I don't know why. I like to put something on my hair before I go to bed, so yeah. So I'm gonna mention this. This is a Skin Proud Icicle Cooling Eye Serum Stick. I actually got this gifted by Skin Proud as well as other things that they sent me. I love this. Like I've been using it non-stop every single morning. This is my morning under eye serum. I have a different one for the night time. At night time, I use the Revolution Miracle Eye Cream. This is my daytime one because it's so cooling. Like compared to the Revolution Miracle Cream, this is so cooling. I like to have something cooling for in the morning to just wake me up a bit more. This just feels so nice and I feel like it does prep my under eye before I do my makeup. So when I'm upstairs doing my skincare, I'll put this on just under my eyes and then I'm gonna use my ring finger to tap it in. I put a bit over my nose as well. And then I just let that sink in until I get to my makeup, SPF or whatever. I don't necessarily notice it does anything to under eye circles, but I definitely can see like it does something in skin prep. Um, I honestly think if I don't put this on, my skin under my eyes would be more textured. It's very refreshing. Okay, now onto my mist. I hate this, and I hate saying I hate a product, but I truly do hate it. And I'm gonna bin it as soon as I finish filming this video because there's no point in me having it. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. This is awful. I hate saying I hate a product, but I. I don't think I have hated a product as much as this. I know I say I hate the Made by Mitchell liquid blush a lot, but I'm just being dramatic about that. Like, I still like it at the end of the day. I, I used it up, it's in my empties. But this, I'll never use it up. I, I can't stand it. This makes my eyelids so textured. Like, my eyelids have texture anyway, but this makes my eye, I don't recognize my eyelids when I have this on. It makes it a patchy mess. It makes it look crappy. It's such a thin formula. It makes my eyelids feel oily. And the way my eyeshadow blends, my eyeshadow does not blend. As soon as I've tapped it out, my eyeshadow won't pass that point where I've stopped tapping it out. It's so weird. I'll have harsh lines of where the product has stopped with my eyeshadow. It just sticks to where the product has stopped. Whereas if I'm using my other eyeshadow primers, I don't get that stop. I don't get, it's hard to explain, I don't get that stoppiness of the eyeshadow. It just, it just airbrushes over it. But with this, it doesn't, I don't know if I'm explaining that right. So if I'm putting it on my hand, doing an eyeshadow test here, I'm gonna use the Jeffree Thursday just because it's in front of me. If I go into stroke, use that to blend. Hopefully you can see that. So I've just been, blending with my eyeshadow as you would do and you see this line here that line is where the primer stops so i've blended the primer out and this line here is where the primer stops so that's where the primer stops blending and as i'm trying to blend the eyeshadow out it won't blend smoothly past that point where the primer stops whereas if i use my ultimate eye base on my other hand this is by revolution let me just blend that out it won't do that. Okay, hopefully you can see that a bit better. And this is my bad hand for blending as well. Like I used my worst hand for blending and it still looks smooth. So look at the difference. The eye primer stops about here with that revolution, but it still glides out seamlessly. Whereas this, it doesn't. It doesn't glide out past that point and that's how I know that eyeshadow primer is not good. <laughs> I guess this is a good tip just to show you what makes a bad eye primer. Not blending past the point where you finish applying the eyeshadow primer. Whereas if you have a good one, doesn't matter where that point stops, it still blends across seamlessly. It's just so bad. And not only that, this is absolutely horrendous to remove. <laughs> it's still left a ring of where the you can just see it clearly where the product stops. It leaves a ring around your eyeshadow. So yeah, that is my big miss of April. Never had a big miss before until I've met this product. Oh, I've got one more thing for the favorite. I'm gonna mention this. This is the Trigwell Powder Puff 
I've been really enjoying this. I mean, I still love my Shein ones, which is this. I use these combinedly. I tend to use this more under my eyes and then I use this for big surface area, like around the perimeters of my face. I feel like I'm out of breath, but that is the end of my favorites. I'm so glad I filmed that because I keep forgetting to film my favorites. Like I'm slowly behind every single month. It's probably because I feel like it's going so quick at the minute. I cannot believe we're in May. But yeah, that was my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you've been loving this month and what has been your miss. Leave a comment down below. Let's have a chat. But yeah, if you did like this video today and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button down below because I do this every single month. And yeah, if you're interested in joining my Patreon as well, I'll leave, I'll leave that in the description box. I feel like I cannot speak tonight. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. Now we are out of time watching this and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.